Now, new at 10, following years of violence, deplorable conditions, and even a partial collapse, the city of Memphis is pulling the plug on Pepper Tree Apartments in Whitehaven. It was more than a year ago when the property was declared a public nuisance due to crime. In fact, last August, the leasing office caught fire and a walkway collapsed, sending residents to the hospital. Today, city officials say enough is enough. WRG's Ashley Paul joins us now live outside the Memphis Housing Authority. So what does this mean for the people of that apartment complex, Ashley? Yeah, Greg, well, residents of the 300 units at Prepper, Pepper Tree Apartments tell us they're thrilled about the decision and they can't wait to get out. But meanwhile, HUD is working on a plan to help these people find a new, better place to live. Pepper Tree Apartments residents say they are not sad to say goodbye to the complex. I ain't had no heat. Me and my kids don't have no stove. I'm cooking at a microwave oven. My whole house is moldy. It's not livable at all, period. This woman wishes to remain anonymous, but looks forward to a brighter future. It's not all about me. It's all about my kids. I want my kids to be in a healthy environment, and it's not healthy. It's complaints like this that led the city of Memphis to end its contract with Pepper Tree. The city has been, for well over a year now, been actively trying to force some changes at Pepper Tree to see improvements in the living conditions. Earlier this month, an investigation by WREG revealed the owners of the property, Germantown-based Tesco, along with federal housing regulators, knew about some of the structural concerns. Last January, the property failed inspection. Lawyer Alexander Wharton represents Tesco and says the city's mind was already made up about Pepper Tree due to the violence. There was never any uh, guidance or uh, condemnation from HUD saying that this property is unsafe, so we're talking about a uh, decision that was reached ultimately that the city wanted. They wanted the property shut down but for a totally different reason uh, than they sought forth and that they set forth in their initial petition. Now, Housing and Urban Development says it plans to offer Pepper Tree residents housing vouchers by January 14th, hoping to relocate them in the next couple of months. We have been prepared for a year to relocate them if we needed to because we've been very concerned about uh, the conditions of the apartments and some residents are already packing their bags. I can't do nothing but praise God. I can't thank for God for everything he made walking me through these whole three years with this apartment. Now, the city says that they are confident they have the housing available to accommodate the people in the 300 affected units, but they did not comment on where they might relocate them to. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3. The writing has been on the wall for Pepper Tree for quite some time, Ashley, thanks.